Hello, welcome to the lesson on Raspberry Pi configuration. In this Raspberry Pi configuration, we are going to use Raspi config. Raspi config is a configuration tool in Raspbian. So what is Raspi configuration tool? What we can do with this Raspi config tool? Raspi config tool enables you to configure various settings of your Raspberry Pi installation such as you can change the keyboard layout you can change the time zone you can change the password for the raspberry pi user you can change access to ssh vnc and other you know uh, raspberry pi peripherals so you can run directly in the command line or you can use raspberry pi configuration gui tool okay so i'll be showing you how we can uh, use those tools and also when we are doing configuration changes or when you uh, change the settings by using Raspberry Pi configuration tool this may result in automatic edits to slash boot slash config dot txt file okay so this results in change directly you can even change this configuration file but it is not recommended all of you okay now i'll be showing you so all of you will go to raspberry pi and we'll see how we can change these settings by using raspberry config tool okay now i will be opening raspberry pi configuration tool available here so if you go to preferences in the preferences you will see raspberry pi configuration click on raspberry pi configuration now you will see different menus one is system menu display menu interfaces menu performance menu localization menu go to system menu in the system menu you will see password we can change the password this is a host name that is actually raspberry pi and you know uh, this is a boot option so we want to boot to uh, desktop okay or uh, this is actually a command line interface so uh, we want to use to de desktop and auto login login as user pi so automatically will be login as uh, user pi so default user is pi we know in raspberry pi and network at boot okay so no need to wait for the network so don't wait and splash screen enable so we have enabled uh, splash screen all of you okay so that we can see uh, during the boot we can see the splash screen okay so these are the options we have you can enable or disable based on your requirement and display so he, you would see over scan enable and pixel doubling is not required these options are uh, required if uh, you are connecting this to uh, raspberry pi to uh, some tv monitor or some uh, smart tv in such case uh, we have to check with the resolutions so even you can set the resolution there is an option here set resolution click here to set resolution so uh, resolution is default preferred monitor settings so there are different uh, resolutions so we'll be uh, using this default uh, you know settings click ok and now uh, we'll be moving to next interfaces so these are the actual hardware interfaces raspberry pi uh, comes with different you know interfaces like uh, we can interface camera if you want to interface camera then you have to enable the camera so you have to choose this okay so you have to click here you know checkbox here to enable the raspberry pi camera okay so you can see here enable the raspberry pi camera board and ssh so uh, if you want to use putty and uh, you know if you want to run uh, commands remotely so if you want to get access to command line interface remotely from other computer and if you want to run this in uh, you know raspberry pi in headless mode then you have to enable ssh and vnc we know that this is actually virtual uh, network computing this virtual network computing is mainly to facilitate a remote desktop sharing so if you want to use vnc so you have to enable so we are going to use vnc for remote desktop sharing uh, you know and we are going to learn about it in the coming sessions and SPI is serial peripheral interface so there are many devices which comes with SPI so sensors generally comes with SPI so and displays comes with SPI communication so in such case what we have to do is we have to enable SPI communication uh, if you want to use SPI 
okay so i have already enabled uh, you know spi if you have not enabled spi you have to enable spi i2c is mainly to interface i2c devices okay there are different i2c devices available so you have to enable if you want to use i2c and then serial port if you want to use uh, serial uh, communication uart uart communication so uart communication you know if you want to see some values present in the board so in such case generally we need to enable this serial port so click here if you want to enable serial port and then this is the serial console uh, we enable serial console also one wire communication where generally we use one wire communication for ds18 b20 i uh, you know that is actually temperature sensor so there are some sensors which comes with single wire communication okay and this is for uh, you know gpio uh, remote access so we are not going to use this option but you know if you want to access gpio remotely you can use this you know uh, remote gpio uh, you can enable this okay all uh, right so all of you are able to understand interfaces this is very important okay we are going to work with these interfaces in the coming sessions all of you okay right so now next one is performance and you can select here gpo memory and also you can actually uh, file system you can configure you can do that all of you and you can enable or disable fan this is actually raspberry pi fan so you can actually uh, use a fan to control raspberry pi uh, temperature you can do that all of you and you can enable here by using fan gpio and then if you enable this what happens you know uh, you have to choose uh, to which pin you have connected g you know fan and also at uh, what is the temperature you want to keep uh, running this fan okay so this is in uh, degree centigrade all of you okay so i'll be keeping this disable because i don't want to use this as of now okay and then you will see here localization so locally so you have to set locally so this is the location settings okay so i have chosen english country is india okay character set utf8 so remember if you have not selected select uh, these things click okay and then we have to select the time zone so time zone you know there are different things here so we have to select our time zone so you go to your uh, you know uh, a, you know continent so asia in asia we have locations different locations like uh, kolkata uh, and then you will see other places kabul uh, istanbul okay these are all different places we have to select uh, kolkata select this this is the time zone our time zone click ok ok so we have selected you know time zone and keyboard also you have to set the keyboard so generic uh, keyboard and we are using english uh, us uh, layout and variant also english us so based on your keyboard you have to choose there are different uh, keyboards uh, supported here based on your requirement you have to choose your keyboard ok right click ok so it will be changing uh, keyboard settings and then set wi-fi country so we did not set the wi-fi country generally uh, it is india so we have to select here india okay all of you is that clear to you so right so i'll be selecting here the country so you have to select the country all of you this is india so i n select india this is a wi-fi country code i n so click ok right so done so uh, we have done uh, all the configurations like system configurations display configuration we have done interfaces we have changed uh, performance configuration we have done and localization also we have done now uh, click ok when you click ok you will see a message what is that the changes you have made uh, the require the raspberry pi to reboot it to take effect so whatever may be the changes that we made now uh, to take effect we have to reboot okay so my suggestion is do rebooting so click here s yes. so our system will reboot all of you it will take couple of seconds yes now you can see here that raspberry pi now rebooted okay so everything is enabled now so you can see a warning message here the ssh is enabled and the default password for the pi user has not been changed so we can use the same no problem okay so for security purpose yes you can change it no problem so click ok all of you so everything is enabled now okay so i hope all of you are able to understand now if you want to change the configure you know settings raspberry pi settings what you have to do is uh, you can use this uh, gui tool this is actually graphical user interface tool so instead of using graphical user interface tool this is a gui tool you can actually open in uh, linux terminal as well so where is the linux terminal this is a terminal of you 
So this is a command line interface. So I hope all of you can identify here. Just open this. So here you can use Linux commands, okay, to access files and to work with the file system, to open the file, to execute the file. So you can use this particular, you know, uh, Linux terminal. So I'll be increasing the size to increase the size. Just uh, go to here, zoom uh, in. Okay, so zoom in is the option, or you can use Control Shift and then plus. Now. So all of you please identify this is the Linux terminal. In this Linux terminal, I'll be typing here sudo. Sudo is actually super user or uh, root. We are going to see this because we logged in as a user Pi. Pi. And our system name Raspberry Pi. Okay, so Pi is the user. So actually we are Pi user. So uh, we don't have administration uh, uh, you know, permissions. So we have to log in as super user. To change any system settings because Raspberry Pi config is uh, having system settings so we want to change system settings we want to access system files if you want to access system files then you have to use super user okay otherwise you will get the error for example if you try doing that so uh, raspy config so script must be run as root try sudo raspy config okay so we have to run with sudo sudo space raspy hyphen config config so you will see the same settings right so you will see here system options display options interface options performance options localization options advanced options update about raspberry pi so we already know so how to navigate for navigation you can use up arrow down arrow left arrow right arrow so now i'll be using down arrow to go uh, scroll you know uh, go to the uh, below options so display options so i'll be using down arrow interface options performance options localization options advanced op options update so this is uh, mainly to update rasp uh, raspbian tool uh, raspberry pi configuration tool okay these are actually uh, you can use this and if you want to see details about this tool you can just press enter Okay, now you will see here this tool provides a straightforward way of doing initial configuration of the Raspberry Pi. Although it can be run at any time, some of the options may have difficulties if you have heavily customized your installation. Right? So click OK. Now, now you can change any uh, options, like right? for example, interface options. Suppose you want to uh, enable camera, so click here press enter now so camera so uh, you can you know enable camera ssh vnc spi i2c serial port uh, one wire remote gpi so everything is available here so suppose camera open camera here and now would you like to uh, would you like the camera interface to be enabled so uh, select a left arrow yes now press enter done camera interface enabled okay now enter okay right so in this way uh, we can use uh, this particular uh, configuration settings uh, down go down and use right arrow right arrow click finish and uh, would you like to reboot now here also once you make the settings now you have to click reboot yes 